Acre Shares. So thank you all so much for commenting on the polls that I did last week as far as like what kind of crocheters you are, how you like the vlogs and things like that. It's been really insightful for me and because now I know that the majority of you guys like having the vlogs Tuesday and Saturday, this one's coming up on Tuesday. So yeah, <laughs> fun, fun things all around. At least that's how it feels to me. So I hope you guys are feeling the same. Um, if you guys can hear my laundry in the background, I'm sorry, but it's time to do laundry. So we're doing laundry. So today I want to talk about or show you guys the other four ornaments that I have been designing. Um, these are the rough draft versions. So I've got a donkey. Isn't he cute? So this one actually is, um, if you guys remember in the secret vlogs, um, when I said that the very first goat I made was turning into a donkey and I was like, yes, it's cute. But I was a little bit bummed because I was, I had like a donkey head that I had already started. That was this. So I went ahead and I finished this and um, I'm really pretty pleased with it. There, the couple of things I wanted to change was like, I thought the kind of that eye color spot was a little bit too big. Like I don't need necessarily this row of the light gray because um, it does make the ears kind of blend into the eye and that kind of happens on both sides. So I wasn't like really thrilled about that. Um, and then I thought I want the, the like kind of tuft the curly hairs to be maybe just like one row like farther down and I wanted them to be just a little bit longer because um, <clears throat> I, I think that's really cute. So that was really kind of the difference that I want like the changes I wanted to make for the donkey um, but overall I'm relatively happy with it and um, like on these projects I use two two ribbons. Um, I'll just pull up the next one and show it to you guys. So here's my my goat, which this is honestly just like straight off of the um, the chubby goat from the secret vlogs that I made for my friend Catherine. Um, <clears throat> but you know, but I, I used two different ribbons. I did the um, black and white gingham. I think that's how you say it. Um, Cause it, it kind of like, I, I wanted, because I've got like a farmhouse theme, I wanted the ribbons to also kind of feel farmhouse-y. Um, and so from kind of what I understand, like buffalo plaid, which is essentially a really big blown up gingham print, is, um, is very like farmhouse style. Um, and I couldn't find anything that was bigger than this, but, but it still has that kind of like farmhouse feel with the ribbon. Um, and then the other ribbon I have, the burlap and lace, it is a lot more like shabby chic um, vibes, but I feel like balanced, like the two balanced on the tree still kind of look farmhousey. And, um, and I tried to do it so that if the, the animal I was using was a neutral or like yeah it was made out of like browns and cream colors that it got a black and white ribbon and if it was a gray project it got a um, a burlap and lace ribbon that, that's how I try and balance things I don't know if that's interesting to you guys at all but that's how my brain works so like I you know this one is another gray and white project and so it got a burlap and lace ribbon this is my my uh, rough draft of the chubby well not the chubby sheep because i do have a chubby sheep pattern um and because that one is worked from like the very back of it up to the nose um the head like this head is different from the one i made for the chubby sheep anyway so like it doesn't exactly follow that pattern um but I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. I think the only thing I didn't like on it was how the nose went on and maybe how I shaped the head. Like I think I didn't do a very good job shaping the head on this one. Um, and the nose is like a little, 
I don't know, I think it should be sitting a little higher, which would be easy enough to just like snip off and try again. Well, I just haven't. So, um, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with this one. I think one thing that was a little tricky was that on this side, the, the ear sits really naturally. If you can see, kind of in between two baubles. Um, but then on this side, for it to, like if it was gonna sit in between baubles, it would be up here, which is too high, or it'd be down here, which is too low. So I ended up like kind of prying apart the bobble and like attaching the ear inside the bobble so that it would look balanced kind of, and it is still maybe a smidge low. You know, but I, I wanted the ears to be like basically level with the eyes. Um, and so that's kind of what I had to do to pull that off. Um, on the second draft I did, I don't think that was something I ended up having to worry about, but so sometimes you just have to, you have to use little tweaks to make it work. Um, and then the last farmhouse animal design that I'm, I'm doing for this whole um, pattern collection is a llama. And so you guys, once again, you guys saw that the chubby llama all over the, uh, the secret vlogs. And so this is the, the llama. And like I said, since he's made of kind of like a brown, you know, neutral colors, he's got a black and white ribbon. Um, and yeah, those are, these are the other four ornaments that I've, I've made for my farmhouse ornament collection and okay I'll get them up here we go and I I'm really happy with them I think they're really cute um, I'll have to show you guys maybe like next on Saturday I could do a vlog where I just like show you guys um, like putting them all on the tree or something like that because because it does look a little a little funny when you're like, look, a head. Um, but on the tree, I think they're super cute. And um, I, have, I have a fake tree um, that's like already pre-lit. And so honestly, just like having the animal ornaments and the, the lights, like, I think it's really cute. I've, I've never been one who's like, let's put a million things on the tree. Um, but like, I kind of like it. I could, I could definitely see it with like maybe one more, one or two more like little styles of ornaments to bring in maybe some more reds or silver or something like that. Like colors that you don't really get on the, the farmhouse animals themselves. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited about them. I think they're really cute, but anyway, that is it. For today thank you guys so much for following along for being interested if you like the farmhouse ornament give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along I will try and do these every Tuesday and Saturday because that's what you, you guys said you like um, and I'll just keep sharing we'll make cute stuff and it's gonna be great I'm really excited for Christmas I mean Halloween's getting closer so I'm I'm all right to be excited for Christmas, right?